Welcome back, YouTubers, to my channel of an everyday life of Lesby. If you're new, I welcome you. I'm Lesby. I'm all about creating mental health and awareness and sharing my life stories. As you're aware, basically, right now, I am going to be doing another, as I said to you guys, as promised, interview, kind of QA for you guys today. And today, as a special guest, is Lulu, who's from the channel of Lulu BB. Beautiful. I'm going to put all our links in the description link below yes, so that you can reach out to you. So if you don't see any of these or any other videos that I do as of like being the mental health, general health or my life journey with this special syndrome, feel free to subscribe on the bottom right hand corner of the screen as well as turning on the notification bell for future updates like this. In saying this also, I just want to thank Lulu for taking her time out of her day to actually come and talk about this condition and I'm hoping and saying this we can roll it on the tape so for the very first question I want to ask is what's her name on her channel name and a little bit about her condition guys I'm Lou but you can call me either Lou or Lulu I go by both I'm just a shy girl with bright red hair and I'm from Scotland I've got a back condition called scoliosis I'm here today to teach you all about it I'm also a YouTuber, so if you'd like to check out my videos, then my channel link will be in the description bar down below. And you can find out what kind of content I make. Click a link in that link. Is for the condition of sclerosis, is how and when were you diagnosed? Okay, so I was diagnosed around 16 to 17. I think I was actually diagnosed at 17, but it was roughly around 15 to 16 that we were trying to go about getting a diagnosis but when I was officially diagnosed by being told oh by the way you have this condition called scoliosis I was about 17. What are your signs and symptoms to look out for when having scoliosis? For signs and symptoms I'll put this picture on the screen here and it'll tell you all about the signs and symptoms to look out for. Is the causes of scoliosis? The causes of scoliosis aren't exactly known so once again I'll put a picture here. The struggles do you feel with this condition and how do you overcome these struggles on a day to day basis? Some of my struggles include pain and when people say oh just stand up straight I do not think I could if I would. I struggle to stand up after I've been sitting down for a while. When it's a nice sunny day and you want to go for a walk but five or ten minutes into that walk you're almost crying with the pain. Sitting down and standing for too long definitely caused me a lot of my pain. Condition of scoliosis ever stopped you from doing the things you love? My conditions actually stopped me doing quite a lot of things over the years so I'll list you some. Walking, dancing, you know just normal simple things that nobody else has to think twice about. I used to do this martial arts called Taekwondo but due to having this condition really early on, like before we knew exactly what it was, it was suspected that something wasn't right with my back. And that's when we started noticing the amount of pain that I was in. And so just because of pain during that time, like I had to quit. I can't lie on my tummy. So when you're sleeping at night, they do say that it's really bad to sleep on your side and then sleep on your stomach. I'll find one of the pictures and like put them here. sit bent or like hunched over on my phone or things like that because it causes me a lot of pain and it's obviously really bad for your posture. Can't carry heavy things, lift heavy things. How do you manage your condition on an everyday basis? I manage my condition by just simply taking things easy, taking it one step at a time and not rushing things and not overdoing things. I've got to watch what I'm doing and if the pain's too much then I'll take a painkiller. I also attend regular checkups with my doctor and my bone specialist and every time I go I get up to date x-rays and scans just to make sure that everything inside is looking how it should be and that nothing's out of place or my spine hasn't curved over. What do you do to relax, stop your condition from getting any worse? The things I do to stop the condition from getting worse I guess you could say would just be chilling out or taking a long hot bath to relax and sometimes it does ease the pain. Not take it away but like it'll ease it off of it. 
And I'm always having to take a painkiller every night before I go to bed just so I'm guaranteed to sleep that night. I've also got this tube of gel stuff that the doctor gave me months and months ago um, that is basically just helping with the pain as well. And if my back's really hot and it gets really sore then this gel also cools it down. I don't ever put that on unless like, I'm really, really desperately needing it. Got to constantly be active, as in like moving about all the time. Like not sitting for too long and trying to stand up and move about, go for a walk, just around the house, you know, like things like that. What advice would you give to another scoliosis warrior? My advice for you would be to simply do your best to stay strong. Find out ways to cope and manage your condition. Help manage the pain and have regular chats with your doctor about your pain, your treatment, what your next step is, what your goals are going to be, where you go from here. What has your condition scoliosis has taught you? You should accept your different and accept your curve because it's beautiful. You need to learn to love yourself in a whole new way. And don't be scared to show off your curve. Even if you're going on holiday somewhere sunny, if you're going to be wearing like a bikini or if you're a guy and you're wearing shorts, never be afraid to show off your scar, ever. Because it's part of you and it's your story to tell. And to make sure that your spine isn't curving anymore. I learned the hard way that you'd always take the doctor's advice. How do you treat scolo scoliosis and can it ever be cured? The ways to treat scoliosis are painkillers, exercises, which could also count as yoga, back brace, surgery, and this thing called a scully smart suit. I'll insert a picture here. Last one but not least, Louise, for you, is there anything else you would like to add before we end this interview today for the audience? The last thing that I can say before we end this interview today would just be a simple message to stay strong and keep on smiling, no matter how hard things get. And if you ever want to talk or need advice or anything like that, any questions, feel free to come over onto my channel and we can talk more about it. Because I'm going to be doing a scoliosis series on my channel too. So. Thank you, Aspie, for interviewing me today. I had a lot of fun. And don't forget to, you know, check it like to my channel in the description. Bye below. Bye. This ends my bit and hopefully you guys enjoyed all that. If you did, smash the like, feel free to comment below. For any of you out there that has any rare conditions or just conditions in general that you want to create an awareness, feel free to, you know, private message me on one of my local medias that will be listed in the description below so that we can create an awareness and understanding for each and one of us on how we live our lives with these personal struggles of mental health or just general health in general. And I would like to thank again Lulu for just coming on and hopefully you guys have learnt something along the way with her. And hopefully she enjoyed being on the channel. So without further ado guys, also don't forget to follow me on the social medias as well as Lulu as well and saying this that feel free to check out her channel once this video is up and just show your support to her and say hello as B sent me here just to show my support to you. So the guys also don't forget to share these videos around and, and saying this also remember just to be ultra polite and for all for the day guys thanks for support thanks for watching do you love love it <laughs>